Infants are those less than one year of age. The steps for rescue breathing and CPR for infants are very similar to those used on a child. A few modifications are needed to account for the smaller size of an infant. When you approach a motionless infant, attempt to find out whether the infant is responsive. If the infant is unresponsive and a bystander is available, have him call 911 and place the infant on a firm, flat surface. Tilt the head back and lift the chin to open the airway. Do not tilt the head back too far because this can close the infant's airway. Check to see if the infant is breathing for up to 10 seconds. If breathing is absent, provide rescue breaths. With the airway open, cover the infant's mouth and nose with your mouth and give two slow breaths. Each breath should last one to one and a half seconds and make the infant's chest rise. Once your breaths go in, check for signs of circulation for up to 10 seconds. If there are no signs of circulation, provide chest compressions. To perform chest compressions, imagine a line between the nipples and place your middle and ring fingers one finger width below this imaginary line. With your fingers straight, depress the chest one half to one inch and then allow the chest to return to its normal position. Give five compressions at a rate of at least 100 compressions per minute. After five chest compressions, give one slow rescue breath. Repeat cycles of CPR, giving five chest compressions and one rescue breath for about one minute. Recheck the infant for signs of circulation. If no signs of circulation are present and no one has phoned for help, call 911, then continue CPR. If the infant is not breathing, but has other signs of circulation, provide only rescue breaths, giving one breath every three seconds. 